What's up with Robogrub? Robogrub is doing fine, but I disabled the Heroes of the Storm builds for today and tomorrow, so that Warcraft fans could enjoy an unadulterated Warcraft 3 chat. And we're working on putting all the Heroes of the Storm builds on one page, so we don't have that anymore. It used to be nice, but I want to change it now because, uh, well, frankly speaking, there's too many of you. <laughs> and uh, Heroes of the Storm just got a uh, big revamp, Heroes 2.0, and it brought so many new players in that the uh, stream viewership amount for Heroes went up like 30, 40, 50, 60%. A lot of people asking for builds, which is great. I can help them that way. But uh, it really started flooding the chat more. And there is a better way, you know. People have always been asking for all the builds on one page. And I selfishly refused. Because I really enjoyed the chat interaction that seeing people queue for the builds offered. It made the chat feel very lively, even when I'm offline. But finally... There is enough of you to make that not viable anymore. And so after that, you can unmute Robogrub again and you can, get, you can get the true useful messages again. We need more gold. Ready to work. We need more gold. Yes. Like advertisements and... AFK messages and so on. What does Robogrub do except hero builds? Uh, memes? Messages when I'm away from stream and why am I away and when I'm back? And frequently asked questions and answers obviously greetings friend dear antlers for dogs and naturally shared btw ready to work work complete we need more gold something is doing yes. welcome back with your six months reset i think i'm too stupid to get this one No prob, Wizardrix. Was a bad time. What are you doing when you swap barracks and click somewhere? I'm setting rally point and the delay between clicking and hearing the audio feedback of the rally point spamming. I can hear what my delay is. Then I get a feel for, uh, yeah. The amount of delay I have, and I can make good plays based on that. Did you see that little move by the grunt? I think what that showed is that he just grouped it up together with his blade and he gave a new order usually if you want to know something about the blade and someone makes like control mistakes like that it shows blade is near or blade is killing it's like a you know an error in the matrix See, I made sure that I let it take so long that uh, his wind walk ran out. That's why I was taking so long on purpose on that. Uh, on that camp. And then I got to keep what is mine. I am yours. Yeah, that's why I think a tinker because I know blade is near that's why I creep it so slow he may have even done like uh, walk away 
walk away thing, if you know what I mean. And then come back without showing. And I tried to cover for even that. Finally, it ran out. And there was much rejoice. He probably did this turtle as well, so I suspect we have the same XP count right now. I have slippers and claws, it's great. He, his tech is faster, but he's got 7 peons in his gold mine. And I'm also getting level 2, even as I'm making him lose resources for repairing. And he's not repairing fast enough right now. He seems very busy. Unless he repairs right now, he's gonna lose that burrow. Uh, no. Nope. If he has speech ground dead. Yes. I am yours. Are you hero and obey? Okay. Uh he should have gambled that I'm gonna be greedy, as I was. Get speed scroll first. And a security kill. Speed scroll windwalk is much faster than just speed scroll or just windwalk. Ah, oh, I forgot my shadow hunter. What is this grunt doing? He just baited you? No, he just wasted a kill. He could have had a kill. Now he got nothing. He did this one, I think. I should have checked his items, but I was kind of scared. If he did do it, I'm gonna do the turtle here. Oh, he's doing it now. Cool. He doesn't have windwalk anymore. I know dust either. So I'll just wait till I have another windwalk, I'll kill it, and I'll windwalk again. Not even close. And that's his only windwalk, mind you. So it's not like he can go kill my shadow or something. He still has a higher blade, but I dare say my shadow hunter is higher. I could have purchased items, but I feel like it would be quite a setback to my army production at this moment. Since it's not like I'm swimming in money. So the only reason I would buy items if I thought would be if I thought that the fight would happen in the next 30 seconds. And I don't believe so. He would have to come all the way across the map. And it's definitely not without a price. He's probably doing the red spot or this shop. Either way, I'll find him soon. Yeah, red spot. 
I might have to buy a TP, we'll see. Nice item. I'll just buy a TP now. So I did a quick hex on the blade. Actually, I didn't check his. Uh, I didn't check his um, items, but I guessed that his blade would be holding the TP. This would delay the time that. This would delay the time of his TP. And that uh, would give me some units. And it worked. This is very risky what I'm doing now, so I'm just gonna check around the shop first. Because I have no invil and no mana for Windwalk. So I could just get caught, uh, surrounded, ensnared, perma ensnared and hexed. Now the biggest threat is he comes from above. So I'm gonna send a peel on there. It's the semblance of safety, because I'm kind of sending that peel too late to really react if he's coming. It's still better than nothing. I also only have one walker, so this is not so nice. Okay, I'm gonna sell item and then I'm gonna fight. I will have very little spirit walker mana though, because my next one was so late. He's got. Ah, he can't fight. He has endurance, horror, scourge, bone gems. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. He's so fly. Oh man, I don't think I can ever win a fight. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And now he's doing the top red spot. The only thing I have is a higher level Shadow Hunter. Okay, he's not doing this one yet, at least. If I can get these camps, that would help. Oh, let's go home. Thank you, Blizzard. At least I get a good aura item, too. It's only fair. I have to start producing. He still has better ones. He has endurance and scourge bone chimes. That's life steal and movement speed and attack speed. All I have is damage. Ah, uh, my upgrades are a lot better. That's nice. I 
I have no mana. That's the problem on walkers. He fights in Burrow, and I had really nice hero level, good mana on my Shadow Hunter, and much better upgrades. And finally, Scourge Bone Chimes as well. Look at this, plus 13, I got plus 50% extra damage. Nice. Uh, uh, I had very little Spirit Walker uh, mana. That was my big, big loss. Because I only had one walker in my 50 food army. But I had a higher hero level, got more creeps. I had 4-4 four, four, and he was 4-3 the whole fight. And I got into 5-5, five, five, so that was very helpful. I don't know how... I was actually able to kill his uh, blade master because... He wind walked away and I thought he got away. I think it was uh, the final flying glaive from the Shadow Hunter. Let's look at the replay. So much bonus damage though, that war drums was kinda nice. If I got crystal orb top right, that would have been the epitome of bad luck, combined with what he found, and then I think it could have been quite difficult as well. Okay, let's look at the beginning, and I'm also gonna stop the color thing. Okay. Greetings, friend. Just came back from Rockin Park to watch my favorite streamer. Love your content. Lesson three. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy. This was nice. His tech was late. Let's see. His lodge was earlier than mine, but his bishery was quite late. Half a bit later than mine. And then did a very greedy creeping here. Got Bone Chimes and XP Tome. But I got a Grunt. It cost him a lot of solves as well. Shadow Hunter got stuck. That's also because I made his peons repair. He didn't cut as many trees as normally he would have. And the whole 7 peon in mine thing. See what he got here. I want to know what tome he got. Probably intelligence. XP again! My god! Two XP tomes, bone chimes, and endurance. Would want some of that luck in uh, some of my tournament games back when. But that's the beauty of Warcraft, you know? Alright, this is a move. He decided to go for my base. Despite having superior map control, he got red. He got a red spot here, and he got a red spot here. I got one red spot. He has the ward between us, and he's level three point nine and two point two. Much of the good things that happened for him is from his greedy creeping, which was smart and good, and at the right time it was measured risk. But he ate all the XP tones with the blade. What he needs more than anything else is Shadow 3. He had all the tools to creep this turtle and this turtle. And the order in which he should have done it is mine first, then his own. Mine is the greedy risky one, but he hasn't met me yet. So it stands to reason that I'm somewhere off on the map. That I'm not going to show up here suddenly. So with what he knew, he should have taken this rather than saying, okay, I'm just going to go TP and lane. Because he's got so good items. He's giving away creep advantage. For what? A shop? Yeah, and then I got the raider kill, the grunt eat. 
So I suspect my army was a little bit bigger too at the end. Or at least same size. Alright, finally he gets a camp. But by the time he starts this, I finish mine. That's the advantage of TPing in your own defense. Still no Shadow 3. He needs to do this one. And he does. But he does it slowly. I would have recommended him to just go for it. He still sees me. He failed the chance to gank me, but even if he did, he wouldn't have had Shadow 3. Finally, okay, now he's in a good spot. He's uh, upgrading one armor, his first upgrade, and he's not getting ready another burrow yet, which is kind of an issue because if he wants to go over to over 50 food, he'll be 60 and then there will be a break because his burrow isn't ready. So he has a choice now to creep either top right or goblin shop. He doesn't know goblin shop is already done. Or he can attack, but they'll be kind of weird because he doesn't have a big army yet. And also, he's not carrying any heal solves, even though he's hurt. So if he goes back home, let's say he produces an army now, he goes back home to Voodoo Lounge, that's terrible Feng Shui. Because he just came here, then here, then goes home, then attacks me. That's a lot of waste of time. Better would be keep going with a TP, which by the way he does not have. Keep going, get a TP, finally TP home after doing something and then attack. Whereas my Feng Shui, I go for two camps at the same time as he got two, and then I go back home. Why? Well, I don't have this available, so I would have had to go here. And I just saw he's here, so this is out of my reach. So my Feng Shui is a little bit bad as well, but I'm returning from a relatively close camp to my base back home, and he's coming from a pretty far one. And I'm doing it out of necessity, and he's doing it out of inefficiency. So he's like, oh, I'm not sure, should I attack, should I go back? So he does go back. Now, I'm glad that he does this because this is more efficient than just going home for no reason. But at the same time, the camp doesn't really offer anything like fantastic. So I'm here thinking maybe he'll attack. I'm wasting a lot of time myself and he gets a camp during my being at home. He gets Wands of Mana still. And then at this moment, he is still producing, but again, he didn't make that burrow to get to 70 food. So he's got all this money, but his army will never grow beyond 60. Whereas I have only 50, but I have the capacity to go to 70. So I start producing not a moment too soon, going to 56, but soon enough I'll have more than that. And I get two more camps as he's walking towards me. So when I finally TP in, uh, I do only have 60 food as well. Shame on me for not producing another unit before I lose that burrow. There was a lot going on and I focused on cancelling the watchtower rather than producing. Maybe the wrong prioritization. I know Feng Shui is about buildings, but I kind of use it for the ebb and flow and efficiency of things. Uh, also, he's in a bad position, and like I said, I have better upgrades. He's 01, and I have 1 2. And then I get a raider for free, basically. And the burrow is firing. It's not a lot, it's a little. 23 to 27 damage with a slow attack speed. Look at that damage, plus 6, plus 25, and that's before Scroll of the Beast. I just want to see the Scroll of the Beast moment again. Blade, plus 38. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Oh. Okay, so let's see how his blade died. Okay, he was invisible, but he has only 3 HP. Look at this walker, this hero walker. He's shooting this little yellow bird. And in the end, I went up in food during that fight. 61, started at 58. Lol. Still, you know, pretty good game by him, uh, but could be better.
started at 58, now we're here. Could you please give some insight into how you micro those fights? Like, how do you decide which units attack what? Well, first you gotta ensnare his Kodo so he doesn't eat anything. Then you make sure none of your raiders are getting semicircle surrounded, because they'll take too much damage from peons and grunts, so you pull your raiders back a little bit. Or you flank around the sides and you attack a Kodo or a walker. Then you heal ward, heal wave whatever you need. You put your blade on what you want to put your blade on. You attack grunts with walkers, raiders with your grunts, and walkers kodos with your raiders. And also you eat with your kodos any unit that you can. If you can eat grunt raider, great. But if it's a peon, still do it. It'll digest fairly fast and you can eat again. Uh, and then heal scroll at the right time. Never lose track of when your blades are suddenly getting focused. Get your disenchant ready for that eventuality. Also, heal, wave, and invul potion. And of course, reapply spirit links wherever possible if he is focusing on disenchant micro on your army. If you have a lot of mana on your walkers, I disenchant his you. army now and then. I need heal scroll. What lies before me? Order I the law. I'm acting on instinct. My we're under attack! Ready. What lies before me? Take your time. Take your time. I'm I'm I am one. 